Good morning and welcome to the KST uh, Halacha Review and uh, a virtual counting of the Omer for Wednesday, uh, April 29th. Today is the 20th day of the Omer. Hayom Esrim Yom Shehem Shnei Shavuot V'Shisha Yamim La'Omer. It's also Yom Ha'atzma'ut today. Uh, our custom in KST is to recite the entire Ha'at to omit the Tachnun and to recite full Halal without a Bracha. Uh, the uh, Rabbi uh, Mordechai Eliyahu, who was uh, once upon a time the uh, Sephardic chief rabbi of Israel, writes uh, the following about customs of mourning during the Omer. He says, during the days of the Omer, students of Rabbi Akiva passed away over the course of 33 days. Therefore, we observe some mourning during this period as a part of the Omer, uh, by not getting married during this period, not making weddings, not uh, having a haircut. Uh, however, this does not apply to the entire period of the Omer, as we're going to explain. Uh, the Sephardic custom, for those who follow Beit Yosef, uh, the Mechaber and Shulchan Aruch, uh, customarily do not take haircuts or get married until the 34th day of the Omer, uh, as of the morning. Similarly, those uh, days they don't listen to music, uh, whether instrumental live music or on the radio. Ashkenazim in the land of Israel, uh, their custom is to get married and take haircuts on Lagba Omer, on the 33rd day of the Omer, and as of Rosh Chodesh Sivan. Pardon me. However, before and on Rosh Chodesh Ir, and between Rosh Chodesh Ir and Lag Omer, and between Lag Omer and Rosh Chodesh Sivan, they observe the customs of mourning. So that's a, quite a, a more extensive period. Most take a haircut only on the day of Lag Omer itself, and not at night. Similarly, they do make weddings on the day of Lag Omer, uh, not at night. However, under pressing circumstances, <coughs> they do take a haircut or get married on the night of Lag Omer. Uh, nowadays, many are lenient and get married on the night of Lag Omer, uh, but we've already mentioned that the opinion of, uh, of the Beit Yosef is to uh, get married only from 34th day onwards, not on the previous night. Please, God, in the future, uh, not this year like Bomer, because we're not making uh, weddings now, not making large gatherings, but in the future, please, God, may we have scheduling conflicts where we have so many people wanting to get married that we have to, uh, we have to consult uh, this advice to see when we can schedule all the weddings for all the people who want to get married. Amen. Uh, if you look in your Siddur, uh, uh, under the Sfirat Omer count 286, uh, there's the column uh, with the Sfirot, uh, so we've discussed what that uh, means to insert uh, a uh, combination of Sfiras in the uh, Yehirat and the Rabbonu Shalom, which is on the previous page, 284, 285. That changes every day. Here is the one for today. Uh, it says there, Yesod Shebetif Eret, which is bonding in compassion. For compassion to be fully realized, it needs bonding. It requires creating a channel between giver and receiver, a mutuality that extends beyond the moment of need, it, a bond that continues to live on. That is the most gratifying result of true compassion. Questions for ourselves, do you bond with the one you have compassion for or do you remain separate? Does your interaction achieve anything beyond a simple, single act of sympathy? And our exercise for the day is to ensure that something eternal is built as a result of our compassion. We should internalize these uh, messages and use uh, the time to make the most of this uh, period. Have a good day, and we'll see you tomorrow.